A St. Paul Central High School grad, Adrian Perryman, came to Concordia and became a 12-time NSIC champion on the track and an NSIC champion on the football field for the Golden Bears. He also still holds the distinct distinction of being the only athlete in NSIC history to win back-to-back 55-meter -back dash conference championships. Perryman shined as a short sprinter and garnered all conference honors in each of his four seasons as a member of the track and field team. In addition to being a part of the 2003 NSIC championship football team, he helped the track and field squad to a second place finish in NSIC outdoor championships, a program best. Three times he was named the NSIC track athlete of the week. Perryman still holds two school records, one in the 55 meter dash and one in the sprint medley relay. He, also, he was also the 200 meter dash indoor record holder at the time of his graduation. After a strong debut, Perryman made a big step forward in 2005, collecting all NSIC honors in seven events. In addition to wins in the 4 by 400 meter relay in both the indoor and outdoor seasons, he also picked up his first individual conference crown, winning the 55 meter dash in the indoor season. He followed with five more all NSIC honors in his junior season, including adding another crown by finishing first in the indoor 200 meter dash. Perryman closed out his career with five more all NSIC honors, including four NSIC championships, while also being named CSP's most valuable athlete. After completing his degree in communication studies in 2007, Perryman began his career with Admission Possible, where he helped students with college preparation at his alma mater, Central High School. He later return, returned to Concordia in the Office of Admissions, also joining the track team as an assistant coach. After six years in admissions, Perryman transitioned to Assistant Director of Academic Advising. In 2020, Perryman joined Genesis Works. As the manager of college and career access, he prepares high school students for successful post-high school careers. Perryman has served on various boards, task forces, and councils, including an appointment to the St. Paul Planning Commission by Mayor Chris Coleman. He, along with a group of his high school classmates, started the Philando Castile Memorial Scholarship after Castile was shot and killed by a police officer in July of 2016. Perryman married Sarah Deutsch, a former CSP track and field athlete and record holder in 2009. They live in St. Paul with their two cats, Simi and Elsie. He received his master's in strategic communication management from Concordia in 2018. Please welcome Adrian Perryman. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this. I greatly appreciate it. I've been working from home since March, so I, I go hard on the virtual. They told us we have five to eight minutes. I know some of those speakers have not been using it, but I'm going to use some of that time. Um, so thank you. Uh, many of my closest fr uh, friends and family never got to see me compete in college for various reasons. Live streaming and HD cameras in our pockets wasn't a thing and, and no one wants to go to Wayne, Nebraska. So I added some photos to this to reminisce. Uh, most of them are randomly placed and have nothing to do with what I'm talking about, but uh, enjoy. Um, uh, the, uh, thank you for everyone that submitted a nomination, Reagan and Josh and the rest of the athletic staff, uh, Rhonda and the alumni crew, um, uh, Rube Saylor and the rest of the selection committee. Uh, thank you for letting me have a spot that should have obviously gone to another volleyball player I'm not being sassy there, um, just as a Minnesotan watching the Golden Bear volleyball team compete as a student, alumni, and a staff member are some of my happiest memories uh, as a sports fan and one of the few times that my team were champions. So again, thank you for that. Uh, the accolade that was not mentioned was I was an intramural football champion and I was a cheerleader for a season. So shout out to that, shout out to that crew. Um, shout out to all the other inductee, inductees this year and the ones I'm joining from the past. I humbly joke and downplay the importance of this induction when talking with friends because Concordia is not the most known, unfortunately, but I'm very proud and honored to join a class and the others. Uh, I've seen most of you compete and dominate at your sport, uh, except for you, Russ. I was not alive, but as the third oldest member of this class, it feels amazing to share this virtual stage with you all. I want to start with my thank yous. I know I'll miss some people, but I'm appreciative of everyone uh, that has played a part in my athletic and academic career over the years. Uh, first, my mother, my biggest fan, most consistent supporter. Uh, she once drove all the way to Bemidji to watch me run for like two minutes tops, maybe. Um, my favorite teammate and wife, former Concordia track and field record holder, Sarah. 
Uh, my sister Maureen for cheering me on over the years, my brother Dusty for being a teammate, uh, competition, uh, backyard training partner over the years as well, my late father for supporting and having endless back in the day stories of his athletic accomplishments uh, and letting me know that athleticism is in my blood. Uh, my mother's father ran track at the University of Minnesota, so I'm always grateful for my genetic inheritance. Uh, thanks to all my friends and family that came to track meets and football games, transported me to and from games, practices, camps, meals, and everything else. Uh, my coaches, Coach Courier for recruiting me, Coach McConaughey for taking me on as a walk-on on the track team. I had a lot of hamstring injuries in high school, so I never really got to fulfill my full high school track dreams. Uh, but I, uh, thanks to the welcoming environment of the track team and granting me that opportunity. Thanks to Charles Martin for connecting me with Coach as a freshman. Coach Sampson for training me to become the record holder and record breaker and champion. Uh, all of the many assistant coaches, grad assistants who spend countless hours training and coaching all of us. All of my Concordia professors and staff, uh, Dr. Chapman and President Holtz, special shout out. Uh, President Holtz offered me a ride to the Mineral Water Bowl as a freshman when I was uh, redshirting to watch the team play. Um, and without him, I don't think we would have any of this here with D2 Athletics. All my track teammates and re relay teammates, uh, special shout out to the Sprint Medley with now three Hall of Famers, KB, Kyle, and myself. Matt, you got next. All, all my football teammates, I started compiling a list of all my teammates over the years, but that would have taken way too long. You know who you are. I remember you all. Uh, athletics has played a huge part in my life from Jimmy Lee to the Martin Luther King Rec Centers in St. Paul to ICAA track to St. Paul Central High School. Uh, athletics are the reason I came to Concordia. As I mentioned, Coach Courier walked down the street to recruit me, uh, but I do have a history with Concordia. Uh, my cousin Neil uh, Perriman was an athlete in the 90s. He met his wife and fellow athlete and coach Liz Goldnitz. Uh, my wife and I followed in their plan, minus all the kids, uh, but I remember watching him play basketball in L LMC as a youth and, and baseball on the field before the GC existed. Uh, once the GC was built, uh, we played catch in there, and I, I missed the ball one time and hit my eye, and that ended my baseball career that maybe led to my track life. Um, I had basketball tournaments in the GC as a youth, uh, competed on the track in high school uh, at, in the GC as well. Uh, I met my wife on the track team. I contemplated, I contemplated retiring from football after one year to focus on track, but if I did that, I never would have played with and formed a lifelong bond with my future best man, Mayshawn Holbrooks, uh, and special shout out to Danimal and Chris Dennis as well. Uh, I met so many people through athletics from Concordia and schools we competed against that are now friends. I really loved being an athlete and being at Concordia. I have a lot of stories to tell, but I'll just read the titles. Uh, if you're interested, I can tell you more, uh, but going hard in the weight room, DJ until 2 a.m. in downtown Minneapolis and breaking records at 9 a.m. at the U, uh, C unit, uh, coaching, uh, skipping practice to get a tattoo, uh, the Drake relays, laughs galore, uh, jeans and boots on the track, uh, bus ride shenanigans, the spring break track trip to Arizona, uh, being the loudest team on the track, the Griff myth, exploring college campuses, Charlie horses in the team van, Golden Corral, Pizza Ranch, fists in the air on the podium, and so many more. Uh, I worked at Concordia for 11 years. I left in January for various reasons. I didn't speak very publicly about those reasons, mostly because I was hoping to make it to the Hall of Fame. Uh, I love Concordia, uh, but I had to leave uh, because countless attempts by myself and others to and faculty to create change uh, went nowhere. Uh, but also I'll end with some praise of Concordia Athletics, but also uh, a challenge to Concordia. Uh, thank you, Golden Bear Athletics, for promoting mental health awareness while budgets for mental health support have been cut on the other side of campus. Thank you to Golden Bear Athletics for supporting Black Athletes United and bringing awareness to the recent march while the other side of campus has failed to invest in the staffing and services our diverse students need on the campus. And thank you to Golden Bear Athletics for having Comet Bear posed as a tribute to Megan Rapino and coloring book form. Megan, of course, is a World Cup winning soccer star and LGBTQ icon, but on the other side of campus are LGBTQ students. Staff and faculty have faced discrimination and still stay faced discrimination at the hands of Concordia. I'm not saying that Golden Bear Athletics has been perfect on these topics, but I appreciate what's been done recently and I hope that mood spreads. But again, thank you for this honor and go Bears. When I think of St. Paul, the first person that I think of is Adrian Perryman. And from one CSP communication studies major to another, Adrian, congratulations and thank you for your remarks.